the buggy lab. It's our third lab total, but this is the lab that we use as the springboard for the second unit, which is constant velocity motion. Basically, we started by taking a buggy and a ruler, and we decided that what we wanted to measure about the buggy is its speed. The way we would do that is we'd find the distance it traveled and divide it by the time it takes to travel a certain distance. We use the formula dirt, D equals RT, and rearrange for rate or the speed. So we take a buggy, grab a ruler, time it, and divide. Next, we decided to do something a little bit more college prep physics. We decided to line up some meter sticks, and we got four positions at four times and obtained a plot of those four positions in four times. So basically, here's a buggy. We laid down two, three, four meter sticks. And as the buggy made a single run, we would time it and get the position that it crossed, just like this. We also did this for a buggy moving backwards. Again, we lined up the meter sticks. We got four positions at four times, and we plotted it. So we'd start, say, at the end of the meter stick. So right here would, say, be 300. Um, though it looks like our buggy is more at like 280 something. And we would go ahead and we would let the buggy go backwards, timing it as it goes. We then obtained two plots. Now I'm going to discuss the plot for part three because it makes it easier to teach the physics that we want to learn. So here's the results we got. This is the plot for the third situation. Um, we had the buggy going backwards, so it starts at around 300 and it moves backwards. And this is a summary of the results we had. We got a linear plot. Uh, we labeled the variable x as our vertical variable, and it means the position in centimeters. It's measured on the vertical axis. We measured time in seconds on the horizontal axis. And if I didn't say it before, x is measured in centimeters. The position is in centimeters, and the time is in seconds on the horizontal axis. The slope, we're going to have a new letter for that. We're going to call it v with a little subscript 0, and we'll call that v naught, which is the speed in centimeters per second. Now, a positive slope means the car is moving forward. It does not mean speeding up. A negative slope means moving backwards. It does not mean slowing down. It means we're moving backwards as we can move. And finally, our intercept, our y-intercept, we write it with the letter x with the subscript 0. That's x naught, And that means the position the car starts at. So we have a new equation that we're going to be using this year. If we write it in all letters, it's x equals v naught t plus x naught. That's the general equation for constant velocity motion because the buggy never changes speed. And for this graph, for example, we'd have x equals negative 100.83 plus 295.7, where x would be the position in centimeters. We're saying that this thing's moving at about the rate of a meter per second, at least in my model here for the discussion. The time is measured in seconds. And we're saying we started at about 300 centimeters. So this is really a summary of the major equation that we're going to be studying in this unit. And we're going to be looking at this by using graphs using equations, and using verbal models.